So the time has come and my orders came in. I picked up the super powerful SEPTA MF15B-05DC 5 volt 0.06 amp 15 millimeter micro server square cooling fan. Holy crap, that is a long name for something so small. I ended up testing this thing with my uh, heat sink and it doesn't really work too well. It's a big flop. So I pushed that off to the side and I picked up the ultimate cooling fan kit for the Raspberry Pi. This is a dual fan on a heat sink that goes over the LAN and the ARMS processor. So this thing also comes with a copper heat sink, which I really don't need since I ended up picking up um, a heat sink already for the RAM at the bottom of it. But this thing comes with a nice little instruction booklet. It comes with an anti-static bag on um, two different thermal sticky pads. Uh, it comes with a thick one. I need the thin one because uh, my Raspberry Pi does get hot. It will reach out to its max temp because I use the desktop. I use intensive um, programs and including uh, gaming. The gaming, I'm not really sure if it actually uses a lot of that since it's you know, it's old ROMs and stuff. Since I ended up picking this thing up, I, I wanted to test it, and unfortunately, I got a bad one. I'm going to have to either order another one. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but one of the fans vibrates a lot. I ended up pulling it off just to see how bad it really was, and I recorded this with my iPod. Check it out. I'd be super happy uh, for my Raspberry Pi, but uh, I'm not. This fan is bad. That one is good, but this one is not. Quiet. Not quiet. It vibrates a lot. So annoying. It must have screwed up from the factory or on its way here. I'm not really sure, uh, but I'm just going to get it replaced. Um, I'm going to keep the heat sink on the Raspberry Pi and uh, just swap out the fans so it'll make it easier like that. For me, with the Smarty Pie Touch, I wanted to make sure everything looks like it's been integrated in somehow. So I, what I ended up doing was trying to debate of an idea of how I was going to put this dual fan in and still be able to use the cover on the Smarty Pie Touch case to go over the Raspberry Pi. Well, um, I had to um, cut off one of the um, legs for it. Uh, I want to show you guys the clips so you can see it for yourself on the plan I was kind of thinking and uh, how I was going to do this. So these are the clips. Check them out. So I really don't like how everything is touching. I'm going to show you this. Um, with a flashlight. So if you take a look, I'm like pretty close up against that. And there is a little resistor, or that's a diode, um, that is right there. And then there's some underneath it, so I'm going to have to probably put some plastic or something down because I really don't want anything to be touching. As you can see, this is roughly the idea I was talking about. There will be a little bit of plastic here in the center, just enough to hold it down. I will have to cut a bit there and a little bit out on that as well. So you kind of get a rough idea what I'm about to do. Uh, these two wires here just to keep this thing away from the GPIO pins. Remove the strip. So I just want to make sure that nothing is going to be touching. As soon as the stick, as you can see, it's being held up. So that's a good sign. I will remove these off the GPIO pins. Don't need them anymore. I just wanted to double check to make sure nothing is touching. So I didn't record this next part, but I used the Dremel and I actually went ahead and started to cut, uh, cut the cover. Um, I, I was actually thinking that this was going to be a big problem and I was completely going to wreck the cover, but I got lucky. And uh, here's the clip. I want to show you what it looks like. So I wanted to show you guys the project here. I didn't record this because uh, I didn't know how this was going to go, whether I was going to completely wreck it. Uh, it did lose a leg. Um, this one I accidentally nicked by accident. 
but so far this is what it looks like. Uh, not really much left of that. I'm gonna have to file it down a little bit better than that, but uh, yeah, it kind of sits in there. You can really tell I'm very determined to keep this thing. So I believe it should stay on. Um, damn it, I filed everything off. I guess I didn't. Alright. There we go. So it's kind of half-assed in there. Uh, there's a screw there, so I'm going to have to remove it. I'm going to file this thing down just a little bit more than this. So, by now, you guys want to go this far <laughs> to do what I'm doing. Um, definitely needed a Dremel for this project. So it actually worked, uh, and everything seems to be alright. Um, I just want to let you guys know that my normal temperature on my Raspberry Pi would normally sit about 45 um, to 40-some degrees if I'm just doing normal basic intensive work. But if it's on idle, it will sit about 39 degrees Celsius. And if I'm doing hard work overload on this thing, it would sit around 56. That's without this dual fan. Um, it's a little tiny bit warmer, but not as bad. It's not a big freaking deal. Um, max, I've seen it go up to is about 60. So that's actually really good for for what I'm doing with this thing. Without this, though, I'd be running this um, ARMS processor to its limit, and this Pi won't last very long. So that is a plus um, I will be like I said swapping out the fans itself but um, I want to show you this little bonus footage um, I did pick up a battery bank for this thing it's a 800 milliamp uh, battery bank I've tested it to see if it works with the Pi it does I don't know how long it's gonna last for yet I will be making a video of this thing eventually but right now I'm just keeping it off to the side because um, I have a USB meter coming that shows me the voltage, it will show me the milliamps, uh, the amps, and it can actually record uh, the statistics of what I'm doing. So that is a good thing, that way I can be able to see what this battery can do, how much the voltage is being drawn from the Raspberry Pi with the screen and the Pi and separately. So all that will come eventually. So in the meantime, I want to show you this clip of me adding it to the Pi. Um, this thing looks really cool with it, but I'm not sure how well this thing's going to play out. Maybe it'll last for four hours to eight hours max. I'm not going to see very many hours, and I'm not going to be constantly using it. It's just if, like, power goes out or I want to take this thing somewhere where there's no power, I can use that battery bank. Anyways, I want to show it to you. And I was thinking, I haven't really tried this out yet. These things are... These are Velcro straps, um, typically meant to strap your wires together. It may be long enough. These would be long enough. Just thinking of having it like attached to one of these screws here and somehow strapping across to hold it on. I was going to use the cover, but I decided to say, you know what, screw it, I'm not even going to bother with that thing. I'm kind of thinking of an idea here. So I was thinking of grabbing maybe a washer here. I don't want to completely tie everything to this thing um, since there's a screw hole there do I get snips I'd rather use snips for this just below the hole I'm gonna flip this thing around let's flip you the other direction grab another one and do the exact same I'll show you guys what I have planned for this let's twist you around let's grab you snip there Thanks to the little hole right there, as you can see, that's typically where the strap would go. Slide the screw on there, grab that uh, piece of screwdriver, which I just lost it again. Where the hell did it go? I'll oh, put it here, that way you guys can see it. Twist you around, let's do the same with this one. I hope this is going to work, I don't know. So I just wasted two straps for nothing. I may have to figure out a better way to keep these things down. Alright, so my idea is since these are velcro, just thinking of grabbing a couple of velcros here. Just two of them. They're fairly long, I like that. And what I want to do, I want the dirt side sitting on the bottom. Do another one there. You probably figure out what I'm doing now, eh? 
trying to make them as tight as possible. It's not perfect. Yeah, this should really show you what I'm doing now. So, should just sit right on top. How's that? <laughs> not perfect, but hey, it works. It's actually fairly strong. Good damn. So hopefully you like the setup so far. It's starting to look like a Frankenstein machine, but it looks awesome. I still got a lot more to add to it. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please do today subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. And uh, go from there.